What's going on guys? Today we are out here in Green Bay. It's me, Shelby, and we got little Surly with and uh, we're obviously targeting walleyes. And today's video is gonna be all about pop jigging and uh, basically how we can cover these really big flats um, out here and uh, be, be successful basically catching a lot of these pre-spawn walleyes um, on a casting presentation. So we're gonna go a little bit into the presentations and uh, some of the specifics basically on uh, how you can uh, maximize your side imaging when you're doing this kind of technique. And hopefully Shelby is gonna catch some walleyes today. What do you think? I think I'll catch a few. She thinks she'll catch a few. Well, stay tuned. Uh, we got a little bit of a run to make, and uh, today is all Green Bay walleyes on the cast. Stay tuned. Talk to me. Hooked up again. This one's a little better. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> He's a nice little chunker. Thing almost looks like a sauger, dude. Crazy weird coloring on that. Yeah, it is. Beauty. Yeah, you have a nice one. Just getting things rolling. Came on one of the classic green bit colors. Purple and gold. Love that color. North Shore Baits and Ocon, those where you can get those. Awesome customs. They're getting bigger. Not a giant. We'll take them, right? Yep. What do you think, What do you think? Bunch of fish off the left. What? Bunch of fish out there. Oh, God. <laughs> this is gone. Shelby, this feels heavy. Oh, never mind. He's not that big. Not that big. Don't worry about it, I got him. On the swim bait and Google Eye jig. Just told Shelby there was a mountain of fish out there and popped it immediately after I said that. All right guys, there's two kind of presentations we really like out here. One is some kind of plastic. Um, I really like swim baits out here. And the other one is the very popular rip and wrap. This is kind of one of my favorite type of colors here. Something purple and uh, with some gold in it. And as far as swim bait color goes, not quite as important. Something that looks relatively goby-ish in a natural color. And I always, always love these um, gold quarter ounce or three eighth ounce Google Eye. Um, jigs. So basically we're working these. The water is super cold. The water is all basically about 33, 35 degrees. So it's not crazy action, right? So basically I'm getting it out there, getting that bait down to the bottom. Now in the summer it's a lot of this. You see a lot of these big poles or stuff like that. We want to keep this bait real close to bottom. So all I'm doing is just kind of popping it, hold my rod high, wait till it hits bottom, popping it. And you can see I'm only popping it about six inches to a foot every time. Pop it, let it hit bottom. I'm hanging that rod high so it has a very slow fall rate, right? That tail's just barely paddling on the way down. Pop it, wait till it hits bottom. Pop it, wait till it hits bottom. So I'm very subtle action, and I kind of like that pop because it's kind of a triggering deal. It's the pop like this seems to work better than just something like this right here. So it is a little bit of a triggering deal to get that pop in there, and uh, you hang the rod high so it has that nice slow fall rate. Now when the water's really this cold, most of these fish are picking it up right off the bottom of the lake. And I'm fishing this on an Elliott Rods Medium 6.9. I'll kind of link this down below. Phenomenally sensitive, extremely light rod. With the Sin cork on the bottom, it works great with gloves. Just extremely grippy, great, great rod overall. And pairing that with a Pissy Fun Carbon X2000, very fast, 7-2 to 1 reel. So when we get a bite, if we are up here, we can pick up that line super fast. And I'm actually using that same reel on pretty much all my jigging application stuff. And uh, the other one rod we're using is a 7 one medium extra fast. This is kind of like the, the ass kicking rod. This is the one that you're going to be fishing a lot of your bigger um, swim bait stuff on or this rattle bait type stuff. I really like it for that. It's got just enough load in the tip and uh, you know so when we're fishing these ripping wraps basically what we're doing 
a little bit different than the plastics. We're not quite doing that small of a hop. But what we're doing, you see a lot of guys out here want to do the same thing. They do this huge lift and fall, which works great when the water gets a little bit warmer. But this time of year, what we're doing, the water's super cold like this. It's just kind of this pull, let it hit bottom. Pull, let it hit bottom. Still not moving that rod super far off bottom. It's almost like a quick drag. You know, almost imagine you're dragging it, but in 10 feet of water, that bait's just coming up and just sitting back down. And same thing, most of the fish are gonna bite right off the bottom. Now, either day they could really want either one of these, so you kinda gotta play around with it a little bit. And most of the fish are gonna come on the bottom, so you'll basically you'll go to pick up and there'll be weight there, and then you kinda jam them high. So those are kinda the two presentations we're using a lot of. That's how we're catching all these walleyes out here in Green Bay. Yeah. Nope, just the net. It's a big one. Yes, Shelby. <laughs> that is a big one, dude. We finally got a big one. That is what we're after. Give yourself. There we go, guys. That is the reward of fishing Green Bay. You know, this water is super cold. We got a few boats around us, so I'm talking super quiet. That one bit. A Google Eye swim bait quarter ounce and a swim bait on there. That is a tank of a walleye. That one's easily about 29 all day long. Big giant pre spawners. We're gonna let that one go. That's what it's about. Just angry. So awesome. So cool. Let's get another one. All right, guys. So we've already found our fish out here. We've driven around a lot of these big flats that we're fishing and we're looking for fish. Now I'm in the back of the boat. My side imaging obviously runs off a plane back here. So what I'm doing. A lot of times I'm not seeing fish or not seeing super thick fish, I'll just kind of sit back here and wait till I see one come by. And right when I, it, the fish comes by, I'll cast right out to them. So a lot of times you can kind of pick off individual fish this way. Or a lot of times as we're drifting or trolling motoring through a spot, um, we might not even be casting. I'll just be like, Shelby, cast off the left 30 feet. There's a little pot out there, stuff like that. So use your side imaging a ton. Leave it open as you're fishing, and a lot of times, you can, once you kind of find that broad area where fish are, you can really use it to almost pinpoint and catch individual fish or small pods of fish. How's it feel, Shelby? Not huge. Not huge? Nope. <laughs> Why are you so close to my flakes? Because we've got the GoPro. Oh. It's too wet out. Oh, let's see. I still haven't seen it. It might be bigger than you think, Shelby. No. It's a decent one. Little chunker. You're just getting spoiled, is what happens. I know. It's not bad. Giddy. Another one in the books. I'm just killing it out here on Green Bay. Not size wise, but number wise. We're getting some decent ones. Yeah. I'm early. spoiled. Giddy. Feel too bad. Way out there. Not super big. But he is heavy. Hey, watch your hook. Got him, baby? Thank you. Not a big one, but a nice Green Bay walleye. Starting to uh, catch them on a few different things. You know, we got the rip and wrap thing, caught a few on that, and uh, the swim bait. So it's always good to be doing that and uh, catching them a few different ways. Let that one go. There we go. Oh, 
think I want to eat a ribbon wrap though. Not too bad. What do you think, Selby? There we go. Another pudgy little guy on the ripping wrap. Too much fun. We're gonna let that one go. Get after it. <laughs> 